Everybody's always asking me, how do I select my advisor, right? Pre-dissertation development, bef before you begin your thesis, what do you need to do before you begin, right? How do you select your topic? How do you select your topic? And by the way, you, this, the screens up there show the same thing I'm showing here, right? This is about methodology, and here's how to do your, how to investigate the topic, that is how to get your literature review, right? Existing knowledge, and we're gonna to go to the library today to get a little bit of background on that. Okay. How to make your proposal. Now, I don't know in your department, but in our department in marketing, we actually have a special time for students to present their proposal, right? Now maybe you don't have that, but still you need to give your proposal to your professor, right? And so one important thing to remember, although I know it's hard to, it's, it's hard to do sometimes, is that when you go to your professor, when you go to your professor about your topic, I mean we all have to write our thesis, right? You cannot escape without a thesis. You must have your thesis. There's a good way and a bad way to do this. So let me show you the bad way first. The bad way is you go to your professor and say, Professor, what would you like me to do? That's the bad way. Now you may think that's a good way because you think, well, I should do what the professor tells me to do. But that's not a good way. And the reason it's not a good way is your professor already has many things to do. <laughs> right? He is not there to tell you what to do. He's there to help you do a good job. If you go to him and say, hey professor, I have this topic. This is my topic. This is the main idea. Here's some literature. Here's my proposal. One page, short, clear, with some literature background. What's your expected result? And your professor looks at it and he says, oh, bad idea. But let me help you. He'll do that. He'll be happy to do that. Every professor at Jolene University will be very happy to do that. But if you go and say, what should I do? The professor will say, oh, I don't know. Um, you know, here's topic A, here's topic B. And then you say, oh, topic A, topic B. And then you try to do, do something, try to get more information. You come back and you say, uh, I don't know how to do topic A. And your professor says, oh, you know, you're really troubled to me. You... Push forward on your topic, have a proposal, more clear, more literature background is better, then your professor will help you, right? You follow me? No professor will reject you and say, I can't help you. They'll help you, but you need to be more clear is better, right? And you wanna say something? Yeah, when you're showing literature background, are you supposed to show like, a one study that exists in a similar style? Are you supposed oh, that's to a good question. So let me sh tell you what I think this means. There's two things you need for your research. One is, a, is your topic, and another one is your methodology, right? I mean, you cannot finish your topic if you don't have a method. That's what I was saying. Seeable, measurable, actionable, right? You follow? So if you don't have a topic, you, you can't do anything. But if you have a topic but you cannot measure it, well, you can't do anything. So you need a topic and a methodology. So this is what I think you can do. You find two published papers. Two. One is the topic. You say, hey, professor, this paper, this is the topic I want to do. And two is the method. Hey, professor, you see this method in this paper? That's the way I want to do it. and they're not the same paper. <laughs> because you could find a paper that has a topic that you, wanna, you want to follow, but the way they did it, you can't do. Or, it's, or there's not, it's not the best way for you. Or you're gonna, it's gonna be that topic, but your topic's a little bit different, so you have a different method. And that method comes from another paper that's a totally different topic, right? Methodology is independent of topic, right? You can use a regression, you can use a t-test, it doesn't matter where the data comes from, right? You can interview uh, subjects, 
you, it doesn't matter what the topic is, right? You can have field observation and it doesn't matter what the topic is. That's just a methodology, right? So you, you prepare a proposal that's like one page long. It's very clear. And not tons of literature. But the key is the key one. This is the topic by this professor, and this is the method by this professor. If I can do this topic a little bit change to follow this method, that's what I want to do. And your professor will look at you and he'll say, okay, good, go. Or he'll say maybe, oh, really, really not good. This method is not good. But look, I have another one that's better. And then you go, hey, great, right? But a professor is not going to help you starting from zero. or I'm just, just being honest, I'm trying to help you, right? If you came to me with zero, I'll just tell you. There's no, nothing I can do. But most professors, because of Chinese culture, will not do that. They'll be nice. They'll say, oh, okay, 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 okay. And then six months later, you have no topic. Okay? You, know, you see what I'm saying? So you need to take responsibility for yourself, for your own topic. And this book is a great guide to do that. So we just saw they had the, the uh, methodology there for a bit, right? And then let's go down here, a couple more chapters. They have real nice tables to show you how to break out your different sections, how much time you'll spend on it. This is the schedule. Chapter 9 is about the schedule and the budget budget because your research costs money, right? <laughs> right? Nothing's for free in this world, right? So this is a little thing about the schedule. And look at this. They actually break it out. Here are the materials you're going to need. Here are the different things you're going to need to get ready. Here's a checklist. Can you do this, do that, do that? Right? Isn't that awesome? Nice little checklist. Here's a total. Here's how much money I'm expecting to spend. Here's how much time I'm expecting to spend. Here's an actual schedule to make a schedule for your thesis. And another table here. So you can actually fill these out. Working with your advisor and with your committee, right? Everybody here is going to have a committee, right? You have to have a committee for your uh, final um, defense, right? <laughs> so the sooner you begin working on this, the better. And this book is great. So I need you to get this book as soon as possible. So the first exercise we're going to be doing this week actually is working on a schedule. So I need you to get this book, read through it. We're not going to cover this chapter by chapter. This is totally given to you and you read it as soon as possible. And then this week what we're going to focus on is your schedule. Now, remember what I said. You go to a professor and you say, hey professor, I have this proposal, one page, very clear. And here is a published paper. This is the topic I want to follow, just like this, maybe a little bit different. And here's another paper. This is the research methodology I want to follow. So here's my proposal, and then here's my example research topic paper. Here's my example research methodology paper, right? And you give that to your professor. And then what's one more thing you give him? Schedule. Your schedule. And how do we make a schedule? How do we make a schedule? We use a Gantt chart. Right? Everybody knows a Gantt chart, right? Okay. Well, wait a minute. You'll catch up in a second. So, we all use Gantt charts. Well, what's the great advantage of a Gantt chart? It's because it can be one page. Right? Simple. And your professor can pick it up and look at it and say, great, right? Okay, now, inside this book, they, they don't use a Gantt chart. They just say, each part of your thesis about how much time will it take. So you need to look here to kind of see how much time things take. Because maybe you don't realize how much time it takes, right? Okay? The book will help you, and then we'll talk about it. But for homework this week, I need you to get a piece of free software. Now the software I need you to get, I've gone to the web page here. Let me open this up. And it's over here. It's called Gantt Project. 
And this is free open source software. I need you to download it and I need you to install it. And I need you to create a Gantt chart. And I want you to make a schedule for your thesis writing. So beginning from today until you defend your defense. Okay? And how do you know? What do you need to do? Look at the book because the book shows you your research literature review about how much percentage of your time. Writing up your, your, your uh, findings, how much time. Uh, collecting your data, how much time. The book gives you a very good outline of your time. Okay? And then next week when we come here, next week when we come here, I'm going to want to look at your Gantt chart. Now this software does not require Windows. It can run on uh, Mac, uh, Windows, or Linux. It's Java-based, free and open source software. Okay? Get project .biz. That is it. I don't know why they call it biz, but that's what it is. It's, it is free and open source. Okay. So, in this class, we're going to stop soon because we need to go to the library, but in this class, we're beginning today to do what we're going to do. I just gave you some, I gave you some idea, I gave you some advice, I gave you some input. You, that's unusual. Usually in this class, what we're going to do is we're going to action, we're going to do things. So I need you to install this. Next week when you come here, I have a, I have a, I have a computer line. Let me show you. See this bag? What do I have in this bag? This is a really long computer VGA cord thingy. And you know why I have this? Because I'm going to hand it to you and say, attach your computer and now we're going to look. <laughs> right? This class is about doing action, not talking. So I need you to install that software and make a Gantt chart of your thesis uh, project, okay? If you come here next week and you don't have it, then it's not good. Can you show an example? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we're talking about working on a, 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 right? We're talking about working on a thesis, right? So I'm not going to spend time showing you how to use software until you've used it. When you've used it, then next week we come here and I see you're doing it wrong or I can help you, I'll help you. And we can all help each other. Maybe you'll learn something about the software, I don't know. Right? But there's one thing I do know. There's one thing I know. And that is, you don't know very much. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So I'm here to help you. But I need you to take action first. Right? This is the first step. We're also going to be looking at graphing, charting software. We're going to also look at Microsoft Word, OpenOffice, and we're going to look at Zotero for referencing work. So we're going to look at many software package, but not Warden talking and you listening. Because you know what? That doesn't work. But you're going to try, and then I can show you, and maybe you'll show me something. Last, last year I learned something about Gantt chart I didn't even know until my students showed me. Right? I don't know if they did it on purpose or by accident, but they did it, and I learned something. So that's one homework this week. Okay? The next homework is you need to log in to the writing software package, and I'm going to need you to write your first homework for writing. So I need you to write 250 words, and it's going to be on your research motivation. So when you use the software, there's a drop-down menu, and you can choose your topic that you're going to write about. I assign you a topic, and then you have to choose to begin. I'm going to assign you this week research motivation. Okay? The software is not hard to use. It's easy to use. It has video online. It has manuals for you to download. Uh, here we are, QBL. 
All right. Right here are videos. Right here are manuals. You can change it to be simplified or traditional Chinese if you want. And the videos are also in Chinese. So there's no excuse to not get this uh, straight. Very, very simple, straightforward. You need to wait for me to assign a homework. This week I'm going to assign you the homework of research motivation. 250 words. 250 words. It does not have to be a one paragraph. It can be multiple paragraphs. 250 words on research motivation. What research motivation? Your topic. Your topic's research motivation. Now, you could say, I don't know yet. And I, I know you don't know. <laughs> I know you don't know. You're not ready yet. I know. I follow. <laughs> right? But we have to try writing, and so we might as well write on your topic. Okay? So take your topic, 250 words, research motivation. Okay? Uh, don't worry. When she gives you this, this, the registration number, it has the address on it. Everything's written there. And we'll figure out how to make our own username and password. That. You make your own username and password, right, when you log in. Okay? All right? Okay. We're going to wrap up now because we need to run over the library. Right? So you take care of that, and then just make sure they sign. So there's two books and one registration number. Okay? Okay. 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 Circle's gonna give you the book, two books, and a, and a registration number. You need to get that, and then you need to go use your registration number to log in later tonight, not right now, because we're gonna go to the library. Close up your computers, and we're all gonna get ready to go over the library. Will we be using the computers in the library or no? No, I don't think so. They're going to just demo and show us things in the library. So you don't have to bring your computer, but don't leave your computer here. <laughs>